Antichrist is a 2009 horror psychological thriller directed by Lars von Trier and starring Charlotte Gainsborough and Willem Dafoe. This movie has been hyped for quite some time. It's been seven years and possibly every single year someone has mentioned this movie, they've always said the same things. It's very violent, there's a lot of sexual violence and gore in the movie, and it's boring as shit. That's what everyone always said. And it makes the movie look pretty bad in comparison to what it actually is, because all of the people are just making this out to be a torture porn movie, and some of them actually call this movie a torture porn. I don't think they've ever seen something that's actually torture porn, I mean something like the Saw movies or uh, Hostel, those movies do fall into the genre of torture porn. But Antichrist is actually more of a philosophical, art house almost, uh, artistic horror movie. And it's weird, and personally speaking, I have never seen another movie by Lars von Trier. This is the first one that I've ever seen. I know it's probably not the best entry point, who knows, who knows. But I want to check out his other movies. I kinda love this movie, uh, in a very weird, weird, weird way. Because the movie is incredibly artistic in so many ways, right from the get-go, from the opening titles. It's just weird, it's very straightforward to the point, and it starts Antichrist, and then Prologue, okay, what? And the scene starts, and the prologue, it's one of the best scenes I've ever seen in movie history. Purely from a cinematics point of view, it's gorgeous, it's impeccable, there's not a single thing wrong about it. And it's sad, it's about a husband and a wife, he is a psychologist, and she is a writer, and while they're having sex, their son dies, he falls out of a window, and he falls to his death. And after that, the entire movie is pretty much about the grief, about letting go, about accepting your own responsibilities, and... Uh, I honestly don't know what else to say about this movie without spoiling it. It's one of those movies that I would actually like to re-watch a couple of times just to get a better understanding of it all. And to kind of make an analysis of it, I would love to do an analysis of this movie in the future, and of other movies as well, but... Technically speaking, this is perfect. It's a perfect movie. It has gorgeous cinematography when it needs to, with incredibly wide shots, and a lot of super, super slow motion, like... very slow, but not boring. And uh, the movie is unsettling and disturbing quite, quite disturbing, be it in the more over-the-top, uh, uh, in-your-face graphic moments that aren't actually as graphic as I were expecting them to be, and uh, also it's pretty disturbing in the more subtle things, with the music, uh, with some of the visual imagery, uh, with the editing as well, there are a couple of sequences where I was like, what's the... What is this? Is the view really distorting? And that's the kind of horror movie that I like to watch. And this is not a straightforward horror movie. And if you go into this expecting torture porn or some kind of horror movie like, I don't know, an MTV Laurel or a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's not. It's, um, it's weird. That's the best way to describe it. It's, it's a weird, creepy, unsettling, beautiful looking horror movie. Crazy violent. Lots of nudity. Uh, lots of uh, philosophical talks about good and evil, men and women. It's not misogynistic, can you just please stop using that word inappropriately? Uh, just because in the movie there are a man and a female, and there is violence involved with them, and the female gets hurt, more or less, or she does bad things, it's not misogynistic. Please stop using that word. So, overall, go check this movie out, it's not for everyone, I mean, as you can see from the parental guidance right here, it's violent, 
it's nasty. It's not for everyone, definitely, but if you don't mind a lot of violence, which isn't really in your face all that much, to be honest, and uh, if you don't mind a slow-moving movie, because it is pretty slow-moving, I think it's worth checking out. It caught me by surprise. I did not expect to like it as much as I did, but... I can't wait to rewatch it, honestly, and to watch the other movies by Lars von Trier. So, guys, tell me in the comments below. Do you like this movie? Do you dislike it? And also tell me which is your favorite Lars von Trier film. I think I might watch either the entire trilogy of Depression with Melancholy and Nymphomaniac or just go with Dancer in the Dark because I do like a good musical. But still guys, thanks as always for watching it to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.